Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech. And this past week had some news that was about privacy that Apple talked about that seemed to upset quite a few people. So I thought we'd talk about that a little bit, as well as the possibility of iOS 14.8, some Mac releases and more. This is your news update for the week of August 8th, 2021. And the first thing has to do with what Apple is calling CSAM child protection that's on your iPhone. And while this is an encrypted process, there's a lot of information out there that I'm still learning about how exactly everything works. So I don't want to give my opinion yet, but I do want to talk about this overall since Apple addressed it and then sort of gave more information about it. So what this is, is it scans photos, comparing it from a database that they're given images from it's secure and encrypted and does not give that information to anyone until it sort of figures out a match. Once it finds a match and multiple matches, then it's handed off to a human for review. And then if they match, then they can determine if there's images. Now these images have to do specifically with what Apple calls expanded protections for children. And they recently released released a document about this stating more information based off frequently asked questions. And so if you scan through this document, and of course I'll link it in the description, you'll see it answers different things such as CSAM detection. Does this mean Apple is going to scan all the photos stored on my iPhone or why is Apple doing this now? And so they're trying to answer the most asked questions about this, why they're doing this and more information about it. So they need to be direct and very clear about what's going on. The concern really is not so much for protecting children, but what can happen with this in the future. And so this is a very big concern. It makes a lot of sense that people are concerned. And so hopefully they'll address this even further than what they've done here. So hopefully we see more about that. It's for iOS 15 only and will only be turned on if you have iCloud photo library enabled and you're using that service. So there's a lot more to learn about this. Like I said, I've been trying to learn all I can about it. I don't want to give an opinion about it too much yet all only that I think it's good to protect children, but I'm concerned about what could happen in the future, just like many people are, but I'll link this in the description so you can take a look. Now, Apple has been surveying people asking about if they'd like to see a new 12 inch MacBook. The 12 inch MacBook is something that a lot of people liked. It was very thin. And while it wasn't very powerful, it's something that people really like as far as the form factor. A Twitter user sent me this survey and you can see here's the first question that says our records show that you got a 12 inch MacBook in the past three years. Is this correct? And as he answered yes, he continued through questions asking about if he liked it, if he'd like to see another one and things like that. And so it looks like they are considering bringing back that size. Some people really like it. If they do move to a different size MacBook, maybe they'll bring out a smaller one to accommodate people that really appreciate the portability of them. Now, apparently Apple was going to open a store very soon in Mumbai, India. Unfortunately, that's been delayed according to the Indian express due to the situation around the world. So on their website, you can see that they, they report that it's delayed. There is no startup or resume date yet. So hopefully we'll see that very soon. I know a lot of my viewers in India really have been wanting a store where they can get official Apple service and just go there to buy products or look at them. So I can't wait to have different stores opened around the world, but apparently that's going to have to wait for a little while. Now, something else to do with the Apple store though, is they've finally updated their website with a new Apple store tab. So if you go to the Apple website and you go to the Apple store or apple.com, there's now a store tab. This is something that we've wanted for a very long time prior to this, they had them under each individual category and it was just very hard to browse. Now you can go to the store when you want to buy something, go to iPad, pick your iPad and then buy it directly here. It's just a much more intuitive and convenient way. And I was surprised they hadn't changed this back to the sooner. So it's great to see them resume to or come back to this sort of store setup and makes a lot more sense and it's much easier just to purchase. Now, of course you can use the store app as well, but this just makes it a lot easier. Now also Apple has been sending out emails, encouraging people to try out the new public betas. So they want more people to try out the beta. Maybe they need some better feedback or more diverse feedback and they're waiting for that. So they're encouraging people to try out the betas. This was an email that was sent out to quite a few people 
asking people to try it. So I thought that's something I hadn't seen before. And while they've emailed people about betas in the past, I don't think they've ever emailed them around beta four and beta five to encourage them to try it out. So that's something that's a little bit new. Now, also something I showed in my follow-up video or iOS 15 beta four, the good and the bad video that I released on Sunday was that there's a working prototype of Apple air power out there. So you can see Julio Zampetti posted this and it's a working prototype of air power. So if I hit play here, you can see that it actually works. And this is something Apple showed off how he got his hands on this. I'm not sure, but I would love to see Apple finally make this. So I just wanted to share that if you hadn't seen it in the previous video. Now, if you're in Belgium, there's some good news. If you're on iOS 14.7.1, you'll now have transit information. So maybe you want to pick your station here and then you'll have different transit information. This has started to roll out across Belgium. So this is something you see in different places around the world, major metro areas, and now it's in Belgium. So it's great to see that. So they continue to roll those out more and more. Now, before we talk about iPhone, Apple's magic keyboard, I did a video on since they sell it separately, but they sell it only in silver. This is from the iMac. And many people were asking me if I tested it with the M1 iPad Pro and if Touch ID would work. And just to clarify, it will not work. It doesn't really matter. It has to be an M1 Mac, not an iPad. So Touch ID is not working on the iPad, even though it technically has the chipset to do it. So maybe it's something they'll add in the future, but it's not available yet. So I just wanted to clarify that. Now, another thing that was discovered today is that iOS or the other day is iOS 14 was spotted in Xcode. So there's some snippets from Xcode that was spotted by a user on Twitter where it shows that there's actually an iOS 14.8 version that's planned very soon. Now, normally Apple will update Xcode with different versions they're working on, and it was a surprise to see iOS 14.8. So I thought maybe we'd see a beta as soon as today or maybe even tomorrow, but I'm really not counting on that as I'm expecting iOS 15 beta five as soon as tomorrow, since that's the two week point since we've had beta four. Generally, Apple has a two week cycle going from July to August, and then after August into September, we'll be down to a one week cycle. So expect beta five as soon as tomorrow, maybe even iOS 14.8 betas, but generally they don't release them on the same day. So this week, maybe we'll see both of those and then a, a weekly update until the final release. So maybe the 17th, then the 24th, then we get into the release candidate with a release sometime in mid September to late September for iOS 15. However, someone did suggest that if we are going to see iOS 14.8, maybe Apple is planning to release iOS 15 a little bit later than we expected initially. We don't know that for sure, but it was just speculation at this point, but it was something worth mentioning. Also iOS 14.8 could finally fix that green tint issue. A lot of people are having, it was about that time or this time last year that they fixed it on the iPhone 11 pro and 11 pro max. So maybe we'll see that soon. If not, it could be hardware related, but it did take almost a full year for them to fix that issue with the iPhone 11 series phones. Now, while we know just about everything about the iPhone 13, or at least what to expect that's leaked out, the iPhone is still being worked on to get rid of the notch in general. So a lot of people don't really want the notch. And in a recent patent found by patently Apple, Apple is working on a way to hide the notch, possibly by making a window appear and then disappear by moving the display up and down. So maybe they could hide the sensor behind here and then have the display fold in front of it. We now have folding displays on different products such as the galaxy fold, and they seem to be fairly durable. So if Apple can have a mechanism in here to hide and then shut, the display, maybe open it and shut it to hide the display. It would be something we haven't seen from anybody else and a clever way to do that instead of hiding it behind the display where it could cause some issues with camera resolution or the quality overall. So it could be great to see that sort of solution. I can't wait to see what Apple has this year. We do expect the notch to shrink with better cameras and more. And I've talked about that at length about iPhone 13, but there's nothing new about iPhone 13 other than what I've mentioned so far. And it is in production at this point. So it's fairly finalized since it's being produced already to make up to a hundred million by the end of the year. So Apple makes millions and millions of them at a time. So they have to enter production fairly early. 
Now, when it comes to the Mac this past week, we also got some upgraded Mac products. So we've got some upgraded graphics cards for the Mac pro new MPX modules, or you can order the Mac pro. So you now have the W 6,800 X W 6,800 duo and W 6,900. Those particular graphics cards are now available and they go from 2,800 to $6,000. So they're, they're pretty expensive. And according to Mark German, this is the last update for the Intel based Macs. So everyone was saying there's going to be an update to Intel based Macs. Well, that was the update according to Mark German. However, the new MacBooks are coming very soon. In fact, according to DigiTimes, the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro have entered production. They're being produced now on the production line, getting ready for a September to October launch, which is what many people, including Mark Gurman, have said is when to expect it. So sometime within September or October, we could see the updated MacBook Pro, which will not only just have Thunderbolt, but it's said to have a new MagSafe adapter as well as HDMI and an SD card slot for memory. I hope we see that. Hopefully we'll see that very, very soon. And also Apple is working on an Apple car still. They've apparently sent a team to Korea to discuss maybe one of the Korean manufacturers, Hyundai or Kia or someone else to help them manufacture parts, maybe batteries with LG or even other companies. So they would need to source a lot of parts and have mass production underway in order to make an Apple car. And it appears that they've been sending teams to Korea to do that. So there's no specific date for an Apple car, but it looks like they're still working on it. And then finally, the Apple Watch Series 7 is said to be coming out very soon within this year, along with the iPhone 13, and again, just get a redesign. It doesn't look like we're going to get any major sensor design update this year, maybe just a better system on a chip, better battery life, and a slight redesign. Then a major update would be next year with 2022. So I would love to see those new sensors that would help with blood glucose and much more, but if they're not ready yet, we'll have to wait another year or two for those to come along. So maybe we'll see those, but I doubt it probably next year at this point. And this past week was fairly sparse with rumors, like I said, but we are still waiting for AirPods three as well as additional iPhones and maybe some surprises along the way. Mac mini pro iMac pro or something along those lines. We still haven't seen. And Apple does have two years to finish that according to what their goal was. Just like when they switched to Intel, they switched to Apple Silicon within two years. That's the goal. So we still should see some new products very soon. Hopefully those MacBooks and then whatever else they've got by the end of the year. So it looks like it's going to be a very busy fall and I can't wait to see what Apple has. Let me know what you're looking most forward to in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.